What up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. You guys have been asking me a ton on how I get my image looking at Sharp for video. We're gonna go over my export settings for Final Cut Pro and how to get sharp, high quality 4K image. Let's jump right in. Really even start. I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they have support. I got big packs coming on. So first things first, before anything, let's talk camera settings. You wanna be making sure you're shooting at the highest quality camera setting that you have available. For instance, in this case, I'm shooting at 4K 120. That is the highest definition quality for this camera. So with any camera that you own, make sure you figure out what the high setting for that is and just shoot that high setting. All right, so now we're here in Final Cut. I'm gonna show you guys the settings I use for my timeline and my export settings that allows me to post high quality content on all my socials. So first things first, whenever you're making a new edit, you wanna go to Final Cut, you're gonna go to new, new project and here we're gonna be basically getting together our timeline right we're gonna be adjusting how we want our timeline to look so we shot everything tutorial we shot everything in 4k so we're gonna need a 4k timeline and here we have video it's pretty cool now that Final Cut allows you to have different settings in specific like vertical and square settings so now for this one we're gonna have a we're gonna pick vertical because this is gonna be a real here in resolution here we have 720 1080 and 4k we're gonna choose 4k we want to make sure that you're having the highest quality resolution possible on your timeline rendering apple pro res 422 and then for the color space we're gonna make sure that we're using rec 709 and then you press ok and then just like that, you're gonna have a vertical 4K timeline, right? Every clip here that you see is, or was shot in 4K. I just put this together very quickly for tutorial purposes. But once the edit is done, we're gonna make sure we hit render all, render out the whole timeline. Just cause sometimes if your timeline isn't rendered and you export it, um, it sometimes will come out wonky. So just make sure everything's rendered out. Once it's rendered out, we're gonna go to the top right here. We're gonna go to export file. Once we're in export file, we're gonna go to settings. Video and audio on the format is okay. Video codec, this is important. You're gonna wanna make sure you hit H.264 because if you export the codec at Apple ProRes 42, you can see the size of that file will increase. So by utilizing H.264, you save on file size and you don't lose quality. So, and then we got the Rex 109 color space there. Then after that, you're just gonna click next, export to desktop and boom, just like that you're done. Hope you guys learned something from that. Um, that is what I do to get the highest possible quality content out there on all my socials. And it's really that simple. We are in the month of November. It is time for Black Friday. So make sure to follow Run That Media on IG. Stay tuned for updates and future posts because we have a bunch of dope things lined up. It's gonna be coming during Black Friday week. So be on the lookout because it's it's a lot of good stuff. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It truly helps me a ton. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.